Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how to configure Docker data center in a production environment. For this demo, I'm going to make a soft 10 virtual machines with Ubuntu 14.04 installed in them. And I have installed the latest version of commercially supported Docker engine in them. And I'm going to configure three machines as UCP controller nodes and the remaining seven machines I'm going to install them as UCP nodes and configure three systems as the DTR. Let us start the demo by installing the UCP controller node. Docker run for starting the container and we are going to remove the container at the end. And then we are going to run the container in the interactive mode. And then let's give the name of the container UCP and then we will do the one point mapping. Then we are going to give the image name, which is docker slash ucp. Then we are going to give the command install, then minus sign. Then we are going to specify the swarm port, which is 3376. And then we are going to specify the controller port, which is 4443. And then we are going to specify this is a fresh install. So since there is no ucp image available, the image has getting pulled and it has been successfully pulled. So it is asking for the admin password. So let's give the password. So it is pulling the required images. The required images have been successfully pulled. So if you want to specify an additional alias, you can specify. So we are not going to specify anything. So just clicking enter. So now it is checking for the required ports. It has generated the UCP cluster root CA and the client root CA. And then it has deployed the UCP containers so now we have the ucp controller configured so and this is the url for accessing the ucp controller node so let us access the ucp dashboard the cad exception confirm security exception so now let us log in log in so first we need to upload the license. So now we are in the UCP dashboard. That is a Docker Universal Control Plane dashboard. We have successfully uploaded the, the license also. So now let us go and configure the remaining nodes. So remaining two nodes we are going to add as a replica for the controller node. So let's do that. Let's move to the next system. So the command is almost the same, except few changes. Instead of install, we'll be providing us join, click enter. So now we need to give the UCP controller URL. Say yes. Username is admin. And then provide the password. And now it is pulling the required images. The images have been successfully pulled. It is starting the local swarm containers and the UCP controller replica containers. And now the configuration has been established. So let us go and confirm that in the UCP dashboard. In the dashboard, let's click notes. So and here we could see that one more node has been successfully added. And also it gives a message that currently we have only two controller nodes and we need to have one more node. So let us go and add the another replica node following the same steps what we did for the uh, adding the replica. So now we have configured the third replica controller also. So that uh, warning message is gone but we have one more warning message which says that the root CA is available in only one controller node. So we need to copy the certificates to the remaining two replica controller nodes. Let's do that now. Docker run. So we are going to take the backup of the certificates. Click enter. Say yes. So it is temporarily stopping the containers and it has successfully backed up. So now we need to copy this to the other two replica container machines. 
let's copy to the first machine so we have the file under temp so it, click enter so click say yes and then provide the password the file has been successfully copied so let us do the same thing for the other system as well now we have successfully copied the certificates to the two replica machines but to restore the uh, certificates we would need the UCP IDs let us go and get that ID so this is the UCP instance ID just copy this so let's go to the other machines so let's go to the temp folder and confirm where we have the backup.tar file so now let us restore it provide the ID and then we need to give the file name so which is the backup.tar click enter so the restoration completed successfully so we need to do the same thing for the other system as well we have successfully copied and restored the certificates to the other two replicas so that's why now we don't see any further warnings so now we are going to add the remaining seven systems as the UCP nodes so it is going to be the same command but we won't be specifying the replica option So we need to provide the URL of the UCP. Provide the username, password. So the UCP node has been successfully configured. So let us review this in the UCP dashboard. So now we could see there are four nodes. Click nodes, and then we could see three controller nodes, and then one additional node we are going to follow the same process and add the remaining six VMs as UCP nodes we have successfully added the remaining nodes also as UCP nodes so we could see there are 10 nodes click nodes and we could see three controller nodes and the remaining UCP nodes so now we are going to install DTR in three of this UCP nodes let us download the client bundle first click admin and then click profile and click go down here click create a client bundle save file save so now we need to transfer this file to the machines where we are going to install the DTR and then we are going to configure the docker client to point to this UCP so first let us copy the client bundle to the machines where we are going to install the DTR so the file has been successfully copied similarly let us copy this to the remaining DTR machines and the other UCP nodes now we have successfully copied the client bundle to the machines where we are going to install DTR now let us go log into those machines and configure the docker client to point to this UCP using the client bundle so we have copied under the slash temp folder so let's unzip them so it has got extracted now let us set the environment source.sh so now let's give docker info and now it is pointing to the UCP so let's repeat the same thing for the remaining two machines as well now we have successfully configured all the three nodes where we are going to install DTR to point to the UCP now let us get the CA for the UCP so the UCP CA has been successfully downloaded now let us start the DTR installation so it is asking for the UCP admin give the name password it has created the network so now the DTR has been successfully installed so we will be able to access the DTR using the URL and then we are going to use this replica ID when we are going to join the other two DTR nodes so before that let us try and access the DTR click add exception click confirm security exception 
the docker trusted registry has successfully come up now let us go and install the dti in the remaining two nodes go here so first let's get the ucpca so we have got the ucpca so now let us install the dti enter so it's going to ask for the username it's asking uh, whether you want to join a replica so we are going to say yes i want to join this replica so it gives a warnings that currently we have the two replicas so we are going to add the other one following the same process so this dtr node has been successfully installed and joined the replica so now the third replica also has been added following the same process so that's why it says there are currently three replicas so now we need to start the dtr and ucp integration the first step in the integration process is getting the UCP cluster CA. So let's log in to the UCP controller node. The certificate has been dumped. So we are going to save this certificate in a file. So let's go to the temp folder. So I'm going to create a file with the name UCP cluster fnca.pem and this I'm going to paste this information so I have successfully saved this in a file so now we are going to get the DTR CA so go to the settings come down here click the option show TLS settings select the certificate information copy it so again we are going to paste this information in a file let's create a file with the name dtrca.pem and then we are going to paste the content there and then we are going to save that file now let us go to the ucp dashboard and load the certificate what we have got from dtr the settings and then click dtr and then click browse then we are going to open the certificate and select the CA and then we are going to update the registry so say yes so the registry is successfully updated now let us go and do some updation in the docker trusted registry here select this option auth bypass TLS CA root CA and here we are just going to update the information what we got and saved as UCP cluster CA paste this here so we have pasted click save to save the changes so we have saved the setting successfully so the next step is to configure the UCP nodes to trust the DTR CA so we are going to create a new file ca.crt and we are going to place the content of dtr-capm into that tree and then we are going to create the .crt file so in this we are going to paste the dtr content then save this so we are going to repeat this step in all the systems and then we will be able to access the DTR from any of the UCP nodes because we have established the trust between the UCP node and the DTR CA. I have successfully configured all the UCP nodes to trust the DTR CA. So now let us test the integration. Click new repository. Let's create a hello world repository. Click save. So we have created a hello world repository. So now let us pull the image from any one of the UCP nodes. So in this UCP node, I am going to first pull the hello world image from the Docker Hub. And then I'm going to tag it to the repository name and then I'm going to push it. Successfully tagged. So now I'm going to push it. Docker push. So before that first I need to log in so the username is admin the password so I have 
have successfully logged in so now I'm going to push it so the image has been successfully pushed so let's check there so we could see there is an image there so which can be pulled using this in this demo I have used the IP address instead of a domain name in an ideal scenario you should configure a domain name and use that as part of this demo you have seen how to configure docker data center with docker universal control plane and the docker trusted registry and how to integrate the universal control plane with the DTR thanks for watching the demo